www.myrecipeideas.com. Today we're going to keep on working on my list that I got from my subscribers as to what they'd like me to make. And Rachel, you are going to get your wish and we're going to make a low carb blackberry cobbler with a crumble top. It's a very simple recipe and I'm sure you're going to enjoy it. So let's get started. So I have these beautiful blackberries. They're very expensive this time of year. You can also use um, frozen ones, but if you do, then you're going to have to drain the juice off them after you thaw them and everything else. So if you can get fresh ones, it's nice. So when they come in season, this is a delicious um, dessert to use or to have. So I've got four cups of blackberries. That's about 400 grams. Then I'm going to take a quarter of a teaspoon of xanthan gum because that's sort of my thickener. And there's xanthan gum here. And we're going to put it, sprinkle it on top of the berries. Okay. Just stir them around a little bit. And then we're going to add in a third cup of sweetener. Now the sweetener that I am going to use is, it's a combination of monk fruit and erythritol and I powdered mine. Because we're baking it you don't really need to powder it but I'm, I powder mine, I always powder mine. So I'm just going to toss this around a bit to get it covered with the sweetener and then we're going to add a little bit of lemon juice and I've got approximately a teaspoon of lemon juice. Oh, I might mention that the third cup of sweetener that I used, it's 68 grams. And it'll be written in my recipes when uh, on my blog. So we're just going to pour the lemon juice around and I'm just going to mix it up. Now by stirring it, I'm breaking the berries up just a little bit, which creates some juice, and that helps get the um, sweetener to stick to all the berries. Just wanted to note that with you. So now I'm going to set it aside. Okay, I got myself another bowl, and we're going to do the topping, and that's one cup of almond flour, which is about 96 grams of almond flour. Now we're going to add in a half a teaspoon of cinnamon. Love the smell of cinnamon. And we're going to add in three tablespoons of sweetener and we're going to use our brown sugar swerve. So we'll add in the brown sugar and here's the packaging swerve. I don't know if you can see it all, but it's the brown sugar. Okay, we're going to mix this up. So much easier with your hands if you have a glove. And then once we've got this all mixed up, then we're going to add in our butter. And the amount of butter I've got is five tablespoons, which is about a third of a cup, and it's approximately 75.6 grams. So we're wanting to pour this in and we want to make it like a crumble. So I don't want to totally mix it so that it's all smooth. I would like little lumps here and there. So I'm just going to mix this up. So it's sticky and you just got little pieces here and there or you could stick it all together almost like a cookie dough or whatever. So I'm going to slide that over and I'm going to bring in my 8x8 pan and I've got my berries all stirred up nice with everything in there. My thickener, my sweetener, lemon juice and we're just going to pat them down into our dish. And then we're going to add our topping. So I'm just going to sort of drop it and try and keep it broke up a little bit. 
So I'll continue doing this and I'll be right back with you. So I just want you to see what I'm doing is I'm just kind of dropping crumbles in here and there with all the spaces. And I'll continue doing this till I have it all filled up. And I'm happy with where I've placed everything. Now, blackberries are beautiful. Um, you could do this also with blueberries. You'd probably put in a little bit less sweetener in because blueberries are sweeter than blackberries. You could even do it with cherries. There's lots of things you can do with this. So I'm just going to make sure i got everything covered. And now we will be putting it in the oven at 375 for approximately 20 minutes on the middle rack. So we're all set. It's a very simple recipe. And Rachel, I hope you really enjoy it. It's nice and low carb. It's still a little higher because of the blackberries. I think it, for eight servings, it's 6.3 net carbs per serving to get eight out of this. But you might even be able to get nine if we can uh, do this properly. Anyway, in the oven, 375 for about 20 minutes. Okay, here's my blackberry crumble. Absolutely delicious. I got company tonight. I feel kind of silly getting into it before I serve it, but I have to share it with you guys. So, um, I'm actually doing this the next day. I put it in the fridge because I had company last night and now we have company again today. So we're going to give it a try. Mm. It's delicious. It's not too sweet, but it's perfect, I think. The berries are lovely. Just lovely. The crumble's lovely, too. Now, when I took my pictures last night, I actually did take it out of um, the... I took it out of the oven. I let it sit for about 10 minutes, and then I took out a piece, and the liquid was a little runny, but now since I've had it sitting in the the um, fridge it all settles down so you can eat this warm or you can eat it cold that's up to you a little blob of um, low carb ice cream or a whipped cream I'm going to make whipped cream for tonight very nice so Rachel I hope you'll be satisfied with this recipe I quite like it and the rest of you if you'd like to go to lowcarbrecipeideas.com try this um, blackberry, low carb blackberry crumble, and try some of my other recipes. You take care, and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.